welcome back to Girl Problems, a segment where we don't talk smack, we just state facts, okay? <laughs> I am one of your three fabulous hosts, Jesse Clark. And I'm Kiwi Fabulous. And we have a special guest in studio with us today. Some of you guys might think after watching our segment that we're just a group of bitter man-hating females, but that is not the case. We have somebody here with us who, in <laughs> fact, does have a Y chromosome and some insight into the male mind, Mr. Dan Shergan. Thank Howdy. you for being here today, Dan. Okay, so the topic that me. we are hitting on today is, okay. can guys and girls actually be just friends? From a guy perspective, what do you think? I think it's very possible for guys and girls to be just friends under a certain set of circumstances. Okay. Um, I don't think it's possible for a guy and a girl to meet and just immediately be friends mm -hmm. and stay friends. I don't, uh, there's gotta be some sort of relationship turmoil that happens so the two of you completely uh, lose all of the attraction to each other. So you've got to essentially break up with each other before you can actually be friends. Okay, what do you guys think? Can guys and girls be friends? I feel like with that, that's like the opposite of what I think. I feel like if you guys have dated before, that there is no way after that you guys can be friends. Like, if you've dated and broke up, like, there's always going to be feelings there. There's always going to be something there that you're going to still be like, oh, I remember when we used to do this, or I remember when we used to do that. Or it's just not, it's never going to be just friends. Mm -hmm. See, I disagree because I have a best friend who I dated for three years. And I think we're perfectly okay. Girl. Okay, so you guys don't, <laughs> y'all don't kiss? No. Y'all don't. Y'all, girl, you know. Okay, you don't, y'all know what's going to be on blast. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. I ain't going to put you on blast, but I know relationship you're talking right. about. Right, but okay. Okay, no, look, 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 look. The way I see it is, guys and girls being friends, I think that at one, in almost every case, one of them may see the other as just a friend, but one of them liked the other at exactly. some okay. point or another. I, I agree with that. Whether the girl didn't like the guy, the guy liked her, or they were attracted to each other or something, because guys and girls don't, unless you're put in that environment with a class or a job or something, you don't just come up and start being friends out of thin exactly. air. Exactly, and you that's why, yeah, that's yeah, why I don't I do think. that friend thing with my man, nuh-uh. <laughs> my friend, my man is not gonna have no female best friend. Like, that's just <laughs> not gonna slide. All right, see, all right, okay. so you go see, ahead. See, here's what I'm saying. In, in order for you to like have a best friend that is a guy, because I have, I have a girl who is my best friend. I dated her when I was like 14 and we broke up and we've been best friends ever since. And the reason that can happen is because we dated and then we broke up, which means I really didn't like her for a very long time. I would go so far as to say I extremely disliked her. I could never <laughs> say hate because she's my best friend. Love you, Elise. <clears throat> but I almost hated this girl for a little little while after we broke up before we started hanging out again. Okay, and can the, I ask how did you break up? Was it on bad terms or was it um, a well, mutual decision? I've got this really, really keen ability to ruin everything <laughs> <laughs> really <laughs> quickly. Actually, so right. so, that's, that's so it did not end on great <laughs> terms, but it could have ended worse. But after we broke up, we did not talk for a little while. Mm -hmm. It was probably three, four months before we started uh, talking as friends again, and unless like we saw each other, but it was a while before we had a conversation. Mm -hmm. And so with that, like I think Time. that attraction, if, if you don't explore the attraction, it will always be there. Mm. But so you're saying a guy and a girl cannot just meet each other and then just automatically will just be friends like right because then that's when you get what jesse was talking about that's when you've got someone like someone else mm -hmm. and unless you address it unless you guys at like actually look at their the possibility of a relationship and then realize it's a bad thing which the only way to really do that is to date and break up i don't think you're ever going to actually get over the fact that like i i liked her and she didn't like me back, so I'm never actually going to get over it versus we liked each other, we dated, it didn't work, so now we can just be friends. That actually makes sense. I can see that. But for me, yeah. I mean, maybe it's just a personal decision. I feel after you've dated somebody or crossed that line of friendship, you know what I mean? Whether it's emotionally yeah. or physically, anyway, you never really look at that person the same. Like, after you get exactly. to that point, exactly. like, after you get, like, after you're like, okay, I've seen you. 
And right, like distance. you've been naked and it's before. Just like, I've seen you naked. So and it's just kind of like different, you know. It's like okay, okay, oh, oh, okay, okay. all right. We got, we got to wrap the conversation up. Okay. But any final points you want to make on behalf of guys? Because we've we been doing some slamming, so. Um, on behalf of guys, I'd just like to apologize for all Thank the horrible yes. things. Thank I'm you. Sorry, every girl, we're the Thank we're kind of the worst. You. Thank you. It's, that is but so yes. But in in defense of the gender, uh, there are a couple of good ones out there. I'm gonna keep looking. I don't know where they are. So I'm gonna keep looking. That being said, my Twitter is D Strug. Feel free to go ahead and hit me up. I'm, I'm, I'm single. I'm just saying. Okay. Nice plug. Nice plug. All right. That is all the time we have today. We will see you next week. I'm Jesse. I'm Najere. And I'm Kiwi Fabulous. With our guest Dan Shurgan, and this has been Girl Problems.